Dwayne here, Dwayne's Custom Baits. We tonight we're gonna be shooting our uh, another. Let me turn it up just a little bit there. Oh well, it didn't do much. But anyway, we'll shoot our new mold again. But uh, we're doing the moon dust color, <clears throat> and that's the bottom color, of course, of the watermelon moon dust that that uh, Zoom, great time to Zoom come out with. <laughs> and again. It's empty. It's going to be starting from scratch. So go ahead and crank her up. To, this does have the maximum. It goes to one through five. Then max. I put on about five. Four and a half, five. And that'll hit me up to 350 degrees. What I need. So. Well, we got, we're just going to use a cup of plastic tonight. Like I've been doing lately. Sorry for the noise there. Let me see here. A little bit much, but I think we got that in there. Okay. So, about right. There's about a cup. Okay. And the moon dust color, it's a blue highlight. Oh, I forgot one thing. I need to get my, my black color here in just a moment. Need couple drops of black in it and the purple flake okay here's my black and my blue highlight okay we're gonna do about about a quarter tablespoon quarter teaspoon I'm sorry of a Blue highlight. Oh, come on, man. Get in there. All right. Excuse me. Just dump it in there now. We're going to leave out just a smidgen. Not quite. Didn't put quite. We, be honest, it was awful close. So, just still call it a quarter tablespoon. Teaspoon, I'm sorry. I know why I keep saying quarter tablespoon. That lid feels like it's about tore up or something. Don't feel right. May have to change that lid, but oh well. Right. Yeah. Highlights for your best results, you always put them in cold plastic. Because if you don't, like if you're doing this to a green or just a little bit, even in black, um, if you do when it's hot, if you were to put that in there, even if you're making a black bait, it would come out blue. Now, it'd be a really dark colored blue, but it would be blue. I know. I've done it. I learned by trial and error. I didn't know at all about how to use a computer, really. Still don't. No enough to get in trouble. That's about it. But, but, uh, I didn't, you know, I didn't know all that help was out there. YouTube and all that. I never was on YouTube. And since I didn't have a computer, I've really, now my knee was messed up. And I did work on a computer for a couple of days, or well, about a week um, at my job down in Florida. For, well, I, I was working inside. I normally work on the floor building machines. But, you know, and we did, uh, you know, they let me work in the office there. And help out one of the guys, but I've only been using computers for about 12 years, so and I've been making base longer than that, so <laughs> okay, that looks pretty good. Let me see if anything floats up, any, any of it floats up here. I don't see nothing really floating up that needs to be brushed, okay. Now, if we don't put any black in this at all, it's going to be a cream color and blue throughout it. That's actually how this is. That's how I make my uh, blue pearlescent color. But we're going to start with just one drop of black. May have to add another, but we're just going to start with one right now. Okay. 
One drop of black. Okay. And any color highlight. If you don't put any color in it, it's going to be a cream-like color. And then it'll be... It'll have that blue, or if you have green, or gold, or red, whatever. Well, the red now will be... That should be a little pinkish looking color. I use it in my uh, rainbow trout colors. What I use instead of putting a pink line in it, I put it in my green top color. Okay, here. All right, we're going to put it up on the heat now. Just over there. Grab my Dwayne's or DCB tournament juice here. This is my own homemade mixture. Woo! A little potent. That's why I didn't kind of held my breath till I took some here. And that's about enough. Yeah, real precise measurement there, I know. Stir that in good. You'll know if you put if you cook it into it like I always do and I've had people say that you know it'll cook out well I haven't had that problem I've done it like this ever since I've been making motors putting something in it when I first started just putting garlic oil in it uh, I put it right into my plastic I've never put it in the bag or soaked them in it or nothing um, but I mean, I've always cooked it up on my plastic. I've been doing it for 15 years that way. I think it's been right, 15? Yeah, 15 years that way. Well, June will be 15 years. I've been doing it that way. Um, you can put drop it in a bag instead. That'll that's fine. You know, put them in a put them in your bag. And put your one or two drops in it, or if you do a whole lot of one bait, put them in a say a gallon bag after they. You know, if you got the time to let them set up uh, like you should, I normally don't have that opportunity. You know, so mine actually will go in a bag a lot of times, and then I ship them out. I've had people call me up in the morning, "Hey, can you give me a bag of this this evening? I'm going to come by for work. I'll swing by and pick it up." Sure, you know, I don't get 24 hours to set it down, so got something on my table right there. Uh, I don't see none of my little knife. I don't see my knife or nothing, so. Oh, there's one. That'll work. Like super glue or something on there, feels like. I don't know why I ain't any super glue out in a while. Oh, well. Now I got a clean spot on my table, so. Okay, there we go. All right, that looks better. Okay. The cheap lock blade knife I bought when I bought a hunting knife from Walmart. Uh, great time of that for you. I've had that thing for a long time now. Well, about, about 10 years. But anyway, here. Um, so, yeah, we'll uh, stir this up right good. Make it up. No, it's starting to do a little bit there. Uh, let's see here. We'll hope uh, this works out right. And then I've got some purple flake here. Where's my, how much is there in here? 0.6 of an ounce. So it's not even a half an ounce. Just a hair over half an ounce. So I don't know how many flakes that would be of this, but we're going to hope this don't bleed. I tied something out here. So we're going to hope it don't bleed up for me. purple that I normally use in this shrivels up but the customers like that in it so I'm gonna hope this will be okay this will be the first time and I'll probably I may switch over I do have some real tiny silver so we'll see I mean silver listen to me purple okay it's still set going there let me get a drink here Had some guys posting some 
fishing on Facebook. He's down out of he's down in Gunnersville catching some bass on, on a bunch of my salted bass sticks, aka Cinco's. And uh, let's see here, what all has he got? Got one like this one. And that's my five and a quarter inch, and that's green pumpkin candy. Yeah, that's green pumpkin candy. And then here's another one he's using. And that's that green pumpkin red. I mean, you can't really see the colors in it real good, but that is a green pumpkin red. Uh, I know he's got a couple other colors. I forget, honestly, right now, I forget what colors they are. Because he's got several. But we are doing this here. Alrighty. Sorry, this takes a while, but this is this is what I go through. So that's why I was showing it like this. How to make the baits and how to make the color and everything. Mm -hmm. My tournament juice here, I've got one, I know two, I think three other bottles that same size that I've got made up and they're sitting over over my table over there <laughs> and it's going to be super strong. This is potent. Those other three, by the time I get to the last one, it's going to be super potent. So, you know, get these lures, buddy. Y'all going to know it for sure. When I just used garlic, they, it was so strong. Um, I shipped some down to my guide friend who's passed away now but he was uh, down in Hollywood Florida and <laughs> UPS the man and he his a UPS driver told him says man I don't know what in the world you got but it stinks <laughs> it stuck up my whole truck and then the same thing I was in Florida and I shipped them up here to Virginia and a buddy of mine has his business here and his one of the girls that, that works for him at that time brought in a box of lures from the post office. They just come up in the mail, if I believe I'm right. Yeah, well, it did. And uh, the girl walks in, hollers at him, says, I don't know what's in this box, but it stinks. And he was back in his wife's office, office and he smelled, he heard, he said, told me he smelled that garlic. He told her, No, that box, don't bring them here. I know what's in there. I don't know how I'm liking this. I'm, I'm, I'm casting shadows with my hat on, even though the plastic, even though the light's right here, right above my head, just about. It's actually about right here, about where it's at, right underneath my hand. But with my hat on, it's casting a shadow. I guess I could do the backward thing here so y'all can see it better. But I'm still casting a shadow, no matter how I wear it. So. Uh, looks like I'm going to have to add some black, another another drop of black to it. I think I've been adding about three drops, I'm just making sure. So, that's how we're, we're going to do it with you guys here with me tonight. And I do normally have a fan on to pull these fumes out, but I can't make too much noise with the videos here, so don't have it. I'm going to go ahead and add another black drop. Now this makes two drops. Bunk. All right, that's two drops. And we will stir it up, see how that, how much that clear, makes it clear up now. It, it's funny, you're dropping that black in there, it'll clear it up. Of course, now if you keep adding black to it too much, it will turn black. That's why I'm only adding one drop at a time. That blues are looking good. Uh, still a little bit milky. May have to add another one. We'll wait and see when it finally gets completely, completely done here. But that blue is looking awesome in it. Perfect on the blue there. Ah, uh, you know. 
I did mix that with a blue. I don't remember now what the hot, what the picture was of though. It may have been this. I hope I hadn't done a video of this already. I don't know if I have or not. I know I've done pictures, I think, on my Instagram. You can check out my Instagram, Dwayne's Custom Baits on Instagram. I think I'm going to go ahead and add, add the third drop. And I think that'll be perfect then. So. Come on. So make a short story. Uh, so one cup of plastic, tablespoon of blue highlight, and now three drops of black. And that looks great. That's gonna be pretty. That's gonna be an awesome color. Now since I'm doing this drop shot, I'm not gonna put in any. Uh, salt in it since I'm doing this as a drop shot bait. We want it floating more and you know plenty of action so yeah we liking this. Oh yeah. Let's see. Smells good. You don't want to take a deep breath of it, just a real quick one there. Just smell your so I can make sure I can smell it good. And I know y'all can see that coming up off of it. So it's and it's all Mixed up real well now. Oh, yeah. Very good. Okay. Cut it down to past one. Now, the purple flake, I'm going to add just a little bit at first to see if it shrills up or not. Well, even if it does, I need to add. So, we'll go ahead and put in what I know I need. Alrighty, we'll stir it first and see how that looks. As far as how much, if I need any, add any more. Alright, let's see. Probably will. That wasn't even an eighth. An eighth. Purple's looking pretty though. Purple flake and it looks good. Let me add just a little bit more. I would guess it, it's still probably not a even a quarter. That'd be too much. As one guy posted on one of the Facebook pages where we where the guys that make baits post a picture at, a little goes a long way. So Alright. Yeah. Alright. We will shoot this now. Let me see how it looks. Yeah. This glove's a little short. I mean, tight. That's why I keep it pulling, and I'm going in between each finger and pushing it all the way down. Now, these aren't really the gloves that comes with it. I don't wore those that a long time ago. Um, I don't even know what brand they are, but I bought them at Ollie's in Norton, Virginia. If you got Ollie's around you, they got all different kinds of these gloves. you got to have it with that black on the bottom of it there. And it does work until they tear up, which I've had that one pair that I used to wear, that blue ones, for quite some time. So you can uh, go from there. And we'll see how these look with the, how good the blue looks on them. Give it about a 10, 12, 15 count. You just hold the pressure. You don't keep a pushing. You just hold steady pressure on it. That might have been more than a, that count, but sometimes I'll hold it a little bit longer. Sometimes I don't. Okay. Whoa. Got a little drip on the outside. That I didn't like. See if we can get foot falls underneath it here. And probably going to start smoking. I don't think I got it. Then we push it back out. Push all out. If you like me, you got the do it molds. Four ounce injector. You got to hold that or it will drop down in there when you push it. Push it down. Uh, push it back down in there. 
So I've done it twice, but twice in 15 years, or almost 15 years, I don't think it's too bad. So, all right, where's my wipe? There it is. Yep. Oh, I stopped it just before it got down there. And sometimes, if it's a little bit runny, I like to take a paper towel and wipe it off. Also, then, there we go. Make sure to have it good now. Okay. Get that little piece. And we're going to put a little bit in the top here because it's trying to pull down. There we go. It might pull down just a little bit more, but it won't hurt it none at all. Yeah, man, that's looking pretty. I know y'all can't see it. I don't think. Well, you can see a little bit of blue there. I can because I can see it looking here. I don't know how, you know, there's a, you can see it right. You can see it down in there a little bit. It's a, you know a good looking blue color, but it's a clear. Oh, yeah. Shane, here it is, April Fool's Day, April the 1st, and I've got a fire in my little, little burner stove there. Hope it don't melt the plastic hold my leg up there. If y'all go cock at it on me, all of a sudden, we'll know why. <laughs> yes, we sure will. Okay. That's about ready. We got to wait here to I just, what I meant was when I said about ready, everything's about to dissolve back up again. Let's see. That's not about ready. It's a little bit soft yet. Right here, it'll be this in here. I didn't put nothing in this second one. This is my five and a half inch dine, my new five inch dine shad mold. I have two of those. Uh, they shoot four. Unfortunately, I've only got one of this one. I'm going to have to get some more. Sorry for that. Oh man, I'm gonna have to fill back up here in a minute. That's my cherry pomegranate and white monster energy drink mixture. I like it like that. Tastes good actually. Alrighty, let's see what we got here. Ooh, that's pretty. How does it show up in the picture here? Uh, you can't see it when I turn it up and there's too much of a glare. I don't know if you can see how good you can see this or not, but let's see. Can you see the blue in it? Yeah, there's the blue. It's not solid. I'm trying to see if you can get a good picture there. There we go. There they are. But there they be. So, since I got them out, you would hang them up. People that like to hang them up. I'll pop them off somewhere here on my table. I'm actually surprised somebody has asked me about that, but I've got to get these in, these poured, get them in a bag, and get them out of here. So we got to keep on trucking on. Clamp right. yeah, these down again. Now, yeah, actually starting out, you should use both clamps: the clamp here and the clamp here. Because if you've never done this before, that's a really good safety feature. I should actually do it because sometimes I will uh, push too much and it'll separate just enough. And you'll have glitter. Say this is your lures. And you have plastic in between all of them. And honestly, the best thing to do, I, I tear them up and melt them down and redo them. You can clean them up. But you probably have still have some sticking off the sides and stuff, so it might not work as well. So I would go ahead and start all over again. That's what I do. All right. Push it down. Push it down. You'll feel it stop. And like I said, just hold it. I don't normally let go. I don't really hold it, but I'm going to straighten these up since they're still warm. So, okay. 
because you don't want to, when you're holding the pressure here, you don't want to lean over too far and squirt plastic out that way or over towards you or something. So it's best to hold on to it, just be on the safe side. Ready. Fill that off. Push that back down in there. Okay. Okay. Just a very little bit. Okay. Alright. Keep you something handy because if it doesn't pop out. I use a little dowel rod and just push it right on through there. Quarter inch dowel rod, I think it is. Okay. I got a little bit of draw down, so it's like so. Okay. Pour it in there. Stir that up. And since my stove just came kicked on, let's Tear this off right quick, tear them up. Now, if I was like making these into Senkos like I have done before, salted bass stick, what I call them, I would have put probably up to, to that cup, probably about two tablespoons of salt to it. I would guesstimate. I think that's about what I put. And they're working really good right now down in uh, Gunnersville, so. Down on Gunnersville today. So, that's right good. The pictures he posted, he said most of them come from my bait, so that sounded good to me. I like seeing catching a monster down there. I love seeing catching one bigger than 11 and a half. The last I heard, 11 and a half in the, caught in the United States was the biggest fish, biggest bass. Um, the biggest overall is a little over 16 pounds called out Lake Baccarat in Mexico. Wish I had a picture of that. That would be the picture that would be on my Facebook page and on my, on my uh, website too. And make sure you check out the website. It's Dwayne's Custom Baits. Well, www.dwayne'scustombaits.com um, the link will be down below in the, in the description. My email's in there. My phone number is there. Wherever you can find me, my Instagram, my LinkedIn, my Twitter. I post all over the place, so. Okay. Pop these out. Give them a quick check, because this is real easy. This color's real easy to tell if you've got any air in the lures themselves i know you can't see them but there's no air they're all there that looks good they sure do do i know unfortunately y'all can't see that very well but they're all pretty there you see you can see that it's not a solid color you can kind of see through it so pop them apart again Lay them down. That's 10 of them. That's looking pretty sitting there. I actually probably could get away with adding a fourth drop of black, but I'm not going to do it. I like the look right now, so. And my customers always tell me if it looks good to me, it looks good to them, so. It's always been that way so far so we're gonna hope this uh this works out for, for me too that would make a really good looking uh dying chad that's why i call my flukes a dying chad color that'd be real good oh that'd be real nice to put that on top of a say of a pearl color that would look cool that would look really good Or even just an off-white would look good. Okay. 
Do another shot here, in just a second. This is about ready. Okay, so. Yeah. If you don't put the purple flake in it, then you got my blue pearlescent, well, and, you, and don't put the black drops in it. That's my blue pearlescent color. It's great for flukes, it's great swim baits. Um, what else have I done them in? Uh, I've done them in frogs. Guys took bought them in frogs. I've done them in, uh, actually did some in 10 and a half inch worms for a guy. And my 14 inch worms, I think, too. And he's like, cut his people, his buddies freaked out. they never seen a color like that, they said. And he said he knows it works and everything else. He's hoping it would work in a, in a, uh, worm for him, so. Oh, and I've done them, uh. And my water beetle color, which I need to make up a bunch of them too. You just got a big order, two fifty count bags of my salty bass sticks, and uh, well, each color gets two bags, so about six or eight, six or eight uh, other uh, single size bags, and a couple other colors, so. Busy, busy, busy. We are hopefully maybe fishing a tournament though over in Kentucky on Car Fork Lake on Saturday, April the 13th. That'll be what? Uh, one, two, two weeks? Yeah, it won't be this Saturday. It'll be the following Saturday, so. Uh, it'll be my first time ever fishing over there, but the person I'm going with lives over there, so. My lures have, are well known on that lake. Um, there's still boys winning it, uh, winning it with them and things, but a couple years ago there was 42 tournaments won on my lures. And out of those 42 tournaments, two guys won 36 of them, I think it was, 34 or 36. So. But there's, and there's still been one over there on them. So, I love to go over there and just at least I like to go just make a good show and since I've never fished it you know I don't want to go there and skunk out I haven't done that in a long time I didn't do it in my very first tournament so I'd hate to go and do it now this is a uh tournament to help a little girl out I, honestly right now I forget what is wrong with her um, but we're gonna go there and do a fishing tournament have, have I'm gonna go fish in a tournament somebody else is having for the little girl top this off I didn't top it off and get a little hole pulled down in there a little bit Luckily, though, it's pretty thick, so it's not all the way, it's not sucking into that first cavity. Or at least I didn't notice it sucking down into that cavity, pulling it, you know, into that first cavity, so. Which it will happen. I've had it happen before, so. And anybody that makes baits that injects and say they've never had it happen, not telling you the truth. Because everybody's had it happen. At one time or another, when they first started or even now, they might get busy and look up and go, oh, shoot, and do what I done, fill it in, and it might have still drawn air. So, can't say you didn't, you know, you've never done it. If you've done bait, it has happened. <clears throat> right now, this is 10.26 p.m. right now. If it was daylight, well, I should have done this for y'all. There'd be some light coming in right over there in the window. And I wouldn't be throwing a shadow over my face. Man, I look super dark. Like, I got a super dark tan, and trust me, I don't. <laughs> or at least when it doesn't, when I'm looking at my phone here. Maybe it don't want on the video. 
when I post it, but it sure looks like it right now. Okay. These, <clears throat> excuse me, these come 20 to a bag for $6. Any color you want. Laminate, single colors, that's fine. Um, I've got a new bait here. I've got to do a video of me making them, in, but I've got a couple of colors in stock. Um, I call this my Ned Squid. The new bait. It's ribbed there, but here's the tentacles here. In the water, they'll be a lot better separated. That's it right there. And that's a total of four inches. If you want to cut it off, that's fine. But uh, people are liking them. Bass ain't never seen anything like that. So they've those come ten to a bag for six dollars. Now I'm gonna have to get them put on. They're not on the website yet. Sorry about that. I guess I shouldn't have showed it since it's not on the website, huh? Sorry. <laughs> All right. So, pop this in out for us. Another beautiful molds. Lures, molded lures there come out great. Let's see. About right there. There's no air bubbles. Looks great. Looks very good. And that's 15. Whoops. Now, granted, this is 15. And it's taking me 37 minutes and so many seconds to do them. Now, if I wasn't talking to you guys and I just had the TV on doing this, I might already have 20 and I may not. But, this is me talking and puffing out some lures here while we do it. I know everybody's not gonna watch this whole video, and that's fine. I skip through sometimes. You might not watch the first ten minutes where I'm not making any bait. Not just flip through to the back or end of it. That's okay too, as long as you like to watch it. <laughs> All right. Well, we gotta wait a few minutes like that. Get done up to do the last shot. So we'll go ahead and break these down. We'll make let this be the end of the video. But uh, like the video, give us a thumbs up, hit that subscriber button, hit that little bell there so you can get your notifications. Tell your friends. Like I said, uh, well, I haven't looked today, but I know we had 386 uh, subscribers, I think it was. And we will uh, be doing another giveaway at, four, at uh, 400. It's one bag of everything that's in my in my shop here. And we'll do that again at 500, at 600, 700, 800, 900, and at 1,000. We will do two bags of everything. And I'm going to do a hat. So I'll throw in a hat. And then uh, 2,000, I might do two bags of everything and throw in a shirt then. So we got to get me up there first. Get a free hat and a free shirt. So... Do something good for y'all. Okay. Well, like I said, hit that subscriber button, thumbs up, leave a comment, enjoy the comments, read them all. I do read them. If I don't comment, I do give a give it a like. But uh, y'all have a good night, good morning, whenever you see this. And we'll see you next time. As we always say here at Dwayne's Custom Baits, they can swim, but they can't hide. Good night.